I'm not That's really enough. no Listen, I'm, I'm, making You're I'm making a phone under arrest. call. You're under arrest. Law is not as cold as everyone thinks it to be. It treats an individual according to their own actions. From someone deciding to ignore commands from law enforcement. This door is staying open. <laughs> to someone deciding to play it cool with the officers. Okay, so you want to talk to your lawyer before you do that? It's not my house that you had the search warrant for. Here are some incidents where law enforcement had to apprehend these individuals. All right, well, if I was going to mail you a million dollars, where would you want me to mail it to? In this incident, a wanted woman named Elizabeth Henry was apprehended by a Red Bank Police Department officer. On December 9th, 2022, an officer who was on patrol noticed Elizabeth as she was strolling along a sidewalk. Later on, disregarding the officer's order led her to get arrested. After getting a call, a lady officer spotted her. She recognized her from the previous case. She asked about her doings, where she was living, and other information. Despite the polite behavior of the police officer, she still refused to provide any information. Banteringly, the officer offered a million dollars to provide her information, but she denied it too. What's up, girl? Somebody called on you. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, where'd you go, over lunch break? Uh, not yet, no. Where'd you walk into? So I walked into an office thinking it was for loans, and they told me it wasn't, so she just got, like, upset. I don't know what her problem was. Oh, all right. Liz? Yeah. Elizabeth what? What was it? Henry. Elizabeth Henry? Yeah. Liz, what's your updated address for now? You don't have one, honey? No. All right, well, if I was going to mail you a million dollars, where would you want me to mail it to? I don't know. I wouldn't accept it. You wouldn't accept a million dollars? I mean, like, no I catches. I don't like gifts. No catches. No nothing. Anonymous. What do you mean we get from me? If I had to mail you something really imperfect. All right, let me put it this way. If I had to mail, mail you a court date so you, you didn't get a warrant. The shelter last month, right? Subsequently, the officer got to know that she was living in a shelter, but didn't give any information about that. Then, the officer informed her about a warming center where she could live, but she was okay being herself. What shelter were you in last time? Mm -hmm. Where else? Asbury? The Long Branch? I was in supposed to be a private shelter. Okay. What happened? You're not there no more? Mm -hmm. What happened? You just left? Were they kick you out? Or? We have, uh, like, warming centers and stuff here now. So if you needed a place to stay, they, uh, I'm pretty sure they accept women now. So, and it's right here in town. Elizabeth informed the officer that the court date she had obtained from the prior warrant was the 22nd. Following that, she showed the warrant paper she obtained from Ocean Township Police Station. However, she was not cooperating with the officer. You just had a court date? I'm sorry, the bus, I can't hear you. Huh? You have a court date on the 22nd? Okay. All right, let me see this. So you're arrested and then... All right, then you don't got to show it to me. If, you're not, if you don't want to show me anything to help you, you ain't got to show it to me. But right now they're checking you, they're confirming a warrant that you have out of Ocean Township, just so you know. Yeah. So if that form that's in your pocket right now says that you shouldn't have that warrant and you want to show it to me so I can maybe help figure out why Ocean Township is wrong, that's fine. But if you know it's not right and you're just rifling through papers to get me to, you know, be distracted, then that's fine too. Without paying attention to the officer's orders, Elizabeth started walking here and there and trying to call someone. After a while, officers handcuffed her and placed her in the police vehicle. As you step off that sidewalk, I'm putting you in handcuffs. For what? what I asked you three times. I asked you three times to stay on the sidewalk. I'm on the phone. But I just told you a direct order. I asked you to stay over here on the sidewalk. All right. I'm not That's moving nowhere. I'm on the phone. I'm making a phone call. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. I'm not under arrest. I'm making a phone call to find out why you're harassing me. You're under arrest. I'm making a phone call. If you don't put your arms on your back, you're getting charged with resistance. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Put my phone down. Okay. I'll put your phone down. Stop. 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 Let me put my phone down. Stop. Let me put my phone down. Stand up. Yep. I'll get your stuff, don't worry about it. Guys, what matters is you back on? Yep. Anything on you is going to hurt me, stick no. your hold me. You are going to put my things on. Yep, right? we got you. Okay. We'll get your other stuff. Elizabeth Henry was charged with obstructing the administration of law, resisting arrest, and contempt of court. While Elizabeth decided to be as uncooperative as possible with the law enforcement, our next individual decided the best way to not invoke the wrath of law enforcement was by being cooperative. But before that, let's see what happens when cops find an assault rifle after an arrest. Up here. You want to jump up like that? You can sit back there. The next incident was caused by a man. 
On November 20th, 2022, in Longview, Texas, officers were dispatched to a hotel in reference to a man who was going around the hotel knocking on people's doors and doing other various things. The hotel manager wanted him criminally trespassed from the property. When the officers asked the man to gather his belongings, he started to act irrationally and refusing to listen. He was eventually pepper sprayed and arrested. Officers conducted a search of the man's room and found an AK-47 laying on the bed. Officers arrive at the hotel and locate the man at the lobby. They tried to explain that the hotel staff did not want him to knock on other doors. The officer informed him that the business can criminally trespass him if they wanted to. The man then tried to explain his side of the story. I would just make sure was that okay. I got you. Yeah, you good. And you want to run up there with me? Yeah, I just, I just want to go to sleep. I just want to make sure I wasn't being kicked out or. Yeah, I, I think they're just not wanting you to be knocking on other people's doors just because it's four thirty. Yeah, you I'm not, I mean? I'm not gonna be doing that. But I, I just want to make sure everything good, money good, like. So listen, on a trespass, it's a business, all right? The business in the state of Texas can criminally trespass you whenever they want for whatever reason they want. They don't even have to tell me the reason that they want to criminally trespass, all right? So you got to be criminally trespassed. You understand what that means? Yeah. If, if you come back here, you run the risk of going to jail. Right? Yeah, I understand that, but that's just the understanding. I'm, I'm not even going to... I'm not going to go there. With you, I'm not. I know better. So this. Give me your side of the story, man. Just give me a rundown. What's going on? I just want. I just want a reason, a good reason to stay here. Yes. Gotcha. You're saying I can't. And then, if it's his words against mine, oh right. well, he wins. The man told the officers that he had belongings in the room. The cop told him that he could go and grab his stuff before leaving. When the officers and the man reached his room, the man suddenly wanted to close the door. The cops advised him against it. I need cold bag whip. The key card to the hotel room? Yes. That's their property. What's my property? I own things. You, they just, you said you got your ID back? No, that's not all the what else, in this room. What else do you have? I have things in that room, from that room. Okay. I, I own things from that room, a bag, a whole bag. You still got it up there? A whole property bag, yes. Let's go still get up it. There. Let's go get it. You can get your property out of the room. All right, let's go do that. And then you'll get what you need. I don't need to be outside with you. Yes, but I need, I need to know what to get. I'll go with you. You know what's yours. Right, come He's right. I do know what's mine. You know what I mean? No, you don't have to. Yeah, because you're being you trespassed no, from the property. Have to. Because then you're going to lock no, the door behind me and then you're not going to no, get out. No, you don't have to. I'm, I'll be okay. right here. I'll be right here. Thank you. Stop trying to close the door on me, man. I'm not. I'm not even I'm looking not, at what you're doing. I'm not. I'm not even looking it's, at what you're doing. But I'm But saying, this door is staying open. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh. Yes, it is. Oh. I'm telling you right now, this door is staying open. I can close the door. No, you're not closing this door. This door is staying open. You're good. You're the one making it a big deal. The man suddenly became argumentative and started to walk towards the cops. The officers warned him to not approach them. Due to him ignoring the commands, they were forced to use pepper spray on the man. They then apprehended him for criminal trespass. You know all this stuff about us and the law. Why don't you come work for us then? All right, get the f out of my room. Step what back. Is, get your what stuff. Is it? Get back. What is it? Hmm. Ooh. Stop. Are you good? Are you gonna keep resisting? The officers then escorted him to the police cruiser. He became physically aggressive again with the officers. 
After calming him, they placed him inside the cruiser. Shortly after, a medical team arrived at the scene and started to tend to the man. I don't want you to let me die. I'm not gonna let you die. That was hot. No. Oh yeah, that stuff's hot, for sure. Can I get some water? When EMS is bringing water, I don't have any water no, to no, give you. No, EMS, I need water right now. I don't have water to give you. They got water in there! Help me! Don't run up on me! You want me to die? You want me to die? Give me this water, bro. Please, water. Up here. Water. You want to jump up like that? You can sit no, back there. I, I just want some water, please. Here, I'll go around pulling out. Just hold it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh... Uh... I'll tell you this. You start banging my cage or kicking my door, you're going to get sprayed again. I'm not. The water's going to hurt. I'm suffering, bro. I know. It's Listen, fun. man. I'm suffering, bro. You EMS is coming. Kill me. No. Please don't kill me. We're not. I know. It sucks. But EMS is coming. I feel like I'm dying. It's not a good feeling. Hey, before you step out, you and I need to come to an understanding. All right? These guys that are helping you are medics. They're not cops. I know you don't really like us right now, but if you do anything to hurt one of my medics, it's going to be a bad day for you. All right, step on out. Get it all in your face? Where's it at? In my eyes, I'm everything. All right, we'll try to wipe it off with a towel, okay? <laughs> the officer then went back to the room and started to search it. The officer discovered an AK-47 on the bed. He then inquired with the dispatch if the man was a felon. The man was then transported to jail. We uh, just arrested this guy out of this hotel room for CT. He gave us permission to come back in his room to get his phone and his wallet. There is an AK laying on the bed. Um, I kind of need some guidance on this one. Uh, that subject that's in custody, he wouldn't happen to be a uh, felon, would he? The man again became agitated at the jail. When he tried to become physically aggressive again, an officer promptly shut him down. Multiple officers soon escorted him to a cell. Go sit down till they tell you to. Come on. You can just look at me all you want. Bitch ass off. Right, so he's not happy. I'm nothing with nothing. Nothing. So you're gonna answer your questions. I'm nothing. As me. I'm nothing. No, you don't hear from that. I said I'm nothing. Stop around me. Yeah, I don't deserve to be here. He fucking me. Okay, but that's him, not I'm us. I'm nothing. Nothing. And he got sprayed. Not by me. So I got sprayed too. He got sprayed. My partner sprayed him while I was about six inches from his face. I got to say, I said, yeah, no. Say it, I don't even say it. I don't even I don't He just started acting like this a couple minutes ago. I don't know. What, what you mean? I don't know. It's what, what's going on? I, I don't want to. I don't even care. 
sit down. I'm saying, I don't even beer, man. I got a whole son. He's two years old. old. He's two years old, man. I got a son. I got a son that's two years old, man. I don't mean this. You want me to do this? Do you want me to do this? Do you want me to do this? The man was charged with resisting arrest without violence and criminal trespass. As mentioned before, now we will see how a man was able to avoid additional charges by being cooperative with the law enforcement. You said no one else was home? No one else was here. The last incident entails a suspect named Josh. On September 8, 2023, in Illinois, Josh was arrested for selling psychedelic gummies according to a search warrant. This gummy seller's residence was raided by the law enforcement. Multiple police officers entered Josh's house with a search warrant and found him alone in the home. They took no time and handcuffed him, brought him to the middle room, and made Josh sit in a chair. They then informed him that they had a search warrant. Josh and the officers briefly talked about competition shooting. Thank you. Anyone else that one lethal? No. no one else home? No one else home. All right, you got four of us in here? All right, okay. Doug, you do Stand up. Sir, I'm just going to keep your hands up, okay? No problem. Appreciate it. We're going to cuff you and security yes, for that. We'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? You said no one else was home? No one else is here. Okay, let's walk him out. There's a chair in the middle of the kitchen. He can sit there. No problem. Yeah, I just probably a rude awakening. You'll get some explanations here in just a little bit. Obviously, we do have a search warrant for the house. Obviously. <laughs> uh, we just <laughs> randomly picked your house, yeah. but we just, you know, we, All right. we, we have copies of that paperwork that'll so get again, I'll delivered I as don't, well. I don't fight with, I'm, I do composition shooting. I don't fight with people with guns, especially police officers. Mm, thank you for that. I, we yeah, no, no, we no, definitely no. appreciate that. I'm not that. here to get in your guys' way at all. I just don't, I have no idea what's going on. Free in. gun? I'm sorry? Free gun or I got a, uh, target? I, I do a, no, I do a, I have a Shadow Systems MR920. Okay. Um, and then I have just an AR-15 that I picked up many years ago. Um, when I lived in Vegas. I don't get to use it much these days, but, you know, yeah. Yeah, I do a little bit of competition shooting myself mostly just the officers proceeded to read him Miranda rights Josh was then transported to the station temporarily he was kept in a cell of the station before sending him to the county jail officers called him and asked for access to his electronic devices that's why it's locked up so before we ask any questions in regards to what's going on remain silent anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law you have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand each of those rights as I have explained them to you? Okay. Having that in mind, do you want to talk? No. I have no idea what's going on, so I exercise my right to... If you don't mind. Get your t -shirt to put on um, yeah, if you don't mind. No. There's a bunch of t-shirts in the um, closet where he's standing. Fat too, so. Out here. All my stuff's over there where that officer is. There's a closet, plenty of t-shirts. I'm sorry, man. I'm exhausted. Okay, Josh, you want to grab your cup and the blanket there? So a blanket will go in that garbage can, it's not actually garbage, it's just to get them washed. Cup we'll put over here. So part of the search warrant included cell phones and electronic devices. 
We want to try and get your device back to you as soon as possible. So what we'd like to do is ask you for the password so that we don't have to go through a force break on it, which takes sometimes up to months. Josh refused it and said that the property they searched didn't belong to him. He will talk to his lawyer first before any procedure. Then he was taken to the police vehicle and departed for jail. Okay, I just want to talk to my lawyer before I do that. Okay, so you want to talk to your this, lawyer before yes. you do that? It's not my house that you had the search warrant for. I know I'm living in the house, well, so it, I know I'm tied into all this, but I still want to know. Uh, I want to talk to my lawyer okay. before I give that information out. You, I hope you can understand. Mm. A little bit better with two pairs of cuffs yeah, back there. Yeah, I really appreciate that, officer. Okay. Yeah, just continue to be cool with me. Like I said, I'll be cool with you. Okay, boss? Cool with the stuff in front seat? Yeah. yeah. See, I'm from Chris Lake 701. I will be transporting the J3 from the drug arrest to county. They have been advised. Finally. The officer brought Josh to the jail. He was searched and taken to the cell. All weapons and ammo are secure. Okay, perfect, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're back there, okay? Yep. Heard the beep and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Know what you're gonna ask. Hey, Chris, I can't see you Didn't have much. Oh, yeah. Josh was charged with possession and sale of contraband. If you enjoyed today's thrilling video, subscribe to watch more.